Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Ghost Recon Wildlands on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for PS Motion. This time I won't be using Cam due to easy anti-cheat, the anti-cheat software solution this game uses, so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner instead. So Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p, 720p and 1440p. To skip to those sections of the video, check the description below, I'll also test it with an ice 4790 apart from the G4560 to show you that the only way to get 60 frames per second constant apart from lowering the resolution and settings you need a good enough CPU but an i5 should be enough. So I'll be testing those resolutions targeting both 30 frames per second and 60 frames. With the G4560 I won't be able to hit 60 frames per second all the time even at the lowest setting using the lowest resolution that's due to the G4560, the i3 has the same issue, you need a better CPU to hit 60 frames per second in this game. But I will try it anyway, and I will also target 30, just cranking up the quality by having visuals as a priority over the frame rate. So targeting 30, and we see how high we can push the graphics. And at 1440p, since it's impossible to hit 60 frames per second with this GPU, I'll be targeting 30 only. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the i7-4790 targeting 60 frames per second on 900p. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the things I found out by playing with the graphics and the options menu and I'll tell you what to disable or lower that causes the biggest hits in the frame rate so you can tweak the game yourself. So first if you don't have an i5 or i7 you won't be getting 60 frames per second all the time. I only tested places with many houses since that was a big hit to the CPU. On other areas with just foliage or small bases you can get 60 frames per second quite easily if you tweak the game correctly, depending on what GPU you have. But once you get to big places with a lot of buildings very close together and enemies and NPCs and all that kind of stuff, the CPU usage goes quite high. I managed to get my Core i7 4790 to 70-80% usage, which is insane. That was at 60 frames per second on a GTX 1060. So things to keep in mind, if you have a G4560 or an i3-6100, anything below an i5, just target 30 to 40 frames per second. You can keep it at 40 frames per second in the options menu and if you change a lot of stuff in the graphic settings try to restart the game sometimes the game just bugs out a little bit and it runs worse than it should on this video i restarted the game every now and then when i changed a lot of settings and if you have a 2 gigabyte video card i suggest using the low texture quality you can use medium but the game will stutter every now and then plus a lot of textures won't load or will take a long time to load so I suggest using low textures for 2GB video cards. And many times while you're playing the game, the frame rate can drop quite drastically and then go back up, which is weird, but the game recovers quite quickly. I don't see it as a game breaking bug or anything like that. The game is still playable, but it uses a lot of CPU and a lot of hard drive to stream the assets of the open world. And I also didn't see an option to turn off screen space reflections. That is a big hit to the frame rate on all games that is implemented, but here it's enabled all the time. You can see that when you're close to water, you can see reflections. Those are the screen space reflections. We should have an option to turn them off. It will be a great FPS boost, especially for low-end cards. And if you want a boost in the frame rate, I suggest lowering ambient occlusion, draw distance, level of detail a little bit less than draw distance. Then shadows on ultra are a bit hit to the frame rate. If you lower them a little bit, you will get a great FPS boost. Then terrain quality, it's also a big hit to the frame rate. It adds a lot of detail to the terrain. Different levels of desolation are going on there. That's why I suggest lowering that if you're having performance issues. And then vegetation is a big hit to the frame rate on ultra. If you lower it from ultra, you get a big FPS boost. So I suggest about an ultra across the board to get a good FPS boost with a very small quality difference. And one thing that wasn't in the beta was the turf effects option. That's just a thing made by Nvidia, which is grass that reacts to the player and some other things in the game. I suggest turning that off, it's a big hit to the frame rate too. But yeah, overall, the game runs pretty similar to the beta. A little better on the VRAM side, but still needs some work. That's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
good. Let's see if there's anything worth taking from the truck. We're clear over here. Ready? Open fire. I can't. I'm engaging takeoffs. Hey, I see a fuel truck rolling down the road. Let's take out his escort to claim it for the rebels. You guys ready? Fire. Ugh. Got us a truck full of gasoline ready for pickup. That'll make a nice present for the rebels. Get the hell out of there! Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Let's see those hands, asshole. He's dead. Okay, we're still... Go on without me. Como es compa? Oiga, ya oyó de ese hombre que dice que inmortal. Que le disparen y que las balas se le resbalan y que no. Marking a tango, close to that local. Back it up, back it up. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. When he died, bird approach him, stay down. Tango down. Frag out.
civilians in the area. We need that set us to recruit some new troops. Our recruiting office was in a strip mall. I kind of like this more. There might be some intel around here. Got some hostile activity. The drone is up. down. Got eyes on the captain. We got a couple of narcos. Okay. Tell over, me where. Over by the soccer field. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Damn it. Guess the rebels are going to have to go without for a bit. The Target lieutenant down. is escaping. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. Buckle up, people. Firing. 
Frag out. That was fucking close. Taking a shot. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. 